Hey, I'm Alexa, and a few months ago I deployed my developer portfolio. I spent a long time researching how I could host the front end, back end, database, and images at a low cost or better yet, for free. Also, I knew I needed an amazing custom domain name to fit my amazing website. Lastly, I needed a free SSL to increase my search engine presence and put some respect on my name. And because .dev domains require HTTPS. I began by hosting my front end and back end code on Heroku. Heroku is a cloud application platform that provides services like web hosting and supports tons of programming languages. Heroku has these things called dynos, which are essentially responsible for keeping your code alive. With a free account, you get 550 dyno hours per month. Since there are about 730 hours in a month, this wouldn't work for me if I wanted to keep my website up and running 24-7, 365. However, if you verify a credit or debit card, you get 1,000 dyno hours per month. So that's what I did. Heroku dynos will also sleep after 30 minutes if no requests are made to your app. This can cause your website to take time to wake up or load. To fix this, I added a set timeout function to my backend script, which uses the built-in Node.js HTTP library to send a request to the URL every 25 minutes. If your backend isn't Node.js, don't worry. Most programming languages have a tool or package capable of making HTTP requests. When picking a page to request, Pick the page that is the most static, meaning the least amount of API, database, and image calls. For me, this was my about page. And congrats, you just hacked Heroku. To host my database, I used MongoDB Atlas. This is MongoDB's cloud database service. Each account gets one free cluster, otherwise known as a collection of databases. If you're a MongoDB user and already have an account with a cluster, then create a new account. And congrats, you just hacked MongoDB. Sadly, this is only applicable if your project actually uses MongoDB for the database. You need a place to host and store your images. Obviously, if your app has thousands of users uploading thousands of photos, then this may not be cheap. My portfolio only hosts images for the Projects tab, which I can only upload. For this, I use Cloudinary since the free tier is pretty good. You get 25 credits per month. Credits can either be for bandwidth, transformations, or storage. Bandwidth meaning the images and videos you request. Transformations being sizing of images and such that can be done with the api and storage obviously meaning how many images and videos you can actually store on the cloudinary application the way i minimize my credits per month is to try to restrict the number of transformations in my code so i tend to not resize the images using the api but rather through css or some other way some companies will try to sell you SSL certificates for thousands of dollars, but you can actually get these for free. Cloudflare offers a free SSL option that's pretty easy to set up. However, since I used Heroku, I couldn't install an actual certificate on my backend. Heroku makes you pay to get an SSL certificate on your app. Instead, Cloudflare acts as an intermediary between the browser and your server containing your code, and only the traffic from the browser to Cloudflare is encrypted. Although this is not the most secure option, this approach handled my concerns with search engine presence and the HTTPS requirement for the .dev domain. It's important to point out that the current cost for all these services combined is zero dollars. The only thing I am paying for in this entire project is the domain name. Google Domains offers some of the cheapest domain names out there. 
Most go for around $12 a year. You have the option of pairing it to other Google tools to view analytics and ads. You can point this domain to your Heroku app for free as well. Currently, this is how I deploy and host my developer portfolio on a budget. Thanks for watching and please be sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more content.